French audience. It's beautiful. It's, uh, you know, Paris and France have always been uh, very welcoming of Escape to Fate. They've always loved us here. They were, you know, one of the first magazines, or if not the first uh, magazine, was a French magazine to feature us on their cover. And uh, they've always supported us and done really well with us. So, you know, anytime I can come here, I, I will definitely be back because I, I love it here. Everyone's very excited about what we do. And it's very hard to find people or places that accept you for who you are and really enjoy what it is you do. And, you know, Paris, and uh, it's one of the places that understands Escape the Fate and enjoys what we do. Stand up and scream all the rest of the world will make a sound. The video for Ungrateful was, uh, you know, when we started writing the song, it was more of like a, a fuck you song, like, fuck you if you hate us, we're gonna do what we wanna do. But it evolved, it became something bigger, it became more than just you know, being angry, it was more of like, let's say something important here, and there's a lot of people that feel the way we feel, a lot of people who get treated badly, and, um, you know, maybe they don't have a voice the way that, that we do, so, in this song, in this video, we're going to be their voice, and we're going to do something strong and powerful that will grab people's attention, that it, w it wasn't just a message to, you know, look at this, this is bad stuff that happens, it's like, we wanted to shock people and say, Holy fuck, this is the most extreme version of, you know, what bullying and, and, you know, just not treating people with respect can be. And, you know, as artists, we, we feel that all the time. Growing up, I felt it every day. I know when, uh, you know, I moved to a big city from El Paso, I moved to a big city to Las Vegas, and I didn't understand it. And people made fun of me every day. They made fun of me because of the way I dressed. They made fun of me because I wore tight pants and had long hair. and. You know, people didn't like who I was, and the same with all my bandmates. We were the outcasts, and you know, it, it, it's just, it's just who I was, and I was being, you know, bullied and made fun of it just because of the type of music I listened to. So from there on, you know, I, I always carried it with me, and I always wanted to do something more and prove people wrong and say that I can be something better than what you think I am. So that was kind of the whole voice behind, you know, the ungrateful song and video. Picture Perfect was a, a you know was a song about you know losing someone uh, you know and it was just again it's just something that we were going through and it's something that you know uh, we needed to say and it's it's weird because all the videos on that we've ever done have always been party videos and naked girls and drinking and all that kind of stuff but this time we wanted it to be you know more serious and and we had some things to say and these were some feelings we had and we were dealing with losses and you know. Um, our guitar player at the time uh, would come up with the idea. Had lost his his best friend, and so he uh, and everyone's relate relates to that at some point. So we wanted to, to make that song. It's a ballad. It's slower. It's not like all of our metal songs and rock and roll riffs. But you know, it's it's part of what we do. It's part of who we are. It's, it, you know, it's not all just metal all the time. It's also real feelings and real emotions through the majesty of song. songs are like oh god it's catchy people like it why why not the song where you know I have something real important to say why isn't that one as good as the stupid song that doesn't mean anything and that's that song means nothing all it is is we wanted just a song of pumping up just something to be excited about like a dance song really it's, it, it, it has no true meaning behind it it's just a fun song just something to have fun with and when it came time to making the music video we wanted to do like a real true music video but they wanted us to just do something live because that's what we're good at anyway so why not let's do a live video so you can see the energy that we bring see the energy that our fans bring and that's what that video was about and that song is about nothing just having fun that's it the complete opposite of picture perfect
at this point, we've almost gone through it all. I feel like, you know, we've, we've grown from being a band who just practices and we're just friends and we just make songs that just sound cool to us and we try our best, but we don't really know a lot, but somehow magic happens. And to that, to really experimenting, we've written with a lot of different artists. We've grown, we've experimented with different sounds and computers and different things and different producers. And you learn a lot as you go along. So I think, you know, the, the more you learn, the more, uh, I guess, ammunition and weapons you have to deliver your attack, you know, with your songs. And uh, I feel like where we're at now, especially going into the new record, the mentality is very much like it, 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 we're not trying to be anything anymore. Where, you know, we always wanted to be this or be that or we need a hit or we need a metal song or we need this it's like we're just over all that it's just like hey check out this cool song I made I like it and this is how I feel and so it's more about that it's really more about our emotions and, and just things that we like or, or just ways to express ourselves there's no you know direction there's nothing thought about it's just do we like it or do we not like it and that's the difference before we used to pick apart everything we do and I was always trying to make it go a certain direction because I wanted to be a rock band you know like an 80s hair metal band or something but just fuck that let's just play what we like guitar riffs drums vocals let's go It just depends, like, me personally, I always go back and listen to things that I used to listen to as a child, things I listened to when I was growing up, and, like, these songs that mean so much to me, but I never understood as a musician, so I go back and listen to it, and honestly, recently, last night, actually, I watched the, the live concert from the Black Parade, My Chemical Romance, that came out in, like, 2007. And I was watching last night, I cried. I missed that band so much. Uh, they were so amazing. And, uh, you know, there's different bands that inspire, different songs, different sounds. You know, I've watched movies and I pick things from movies. And, I don't know. No, nothing in particular right now at the moment. I've always wanted to tour with Black Veil Brides uh, since back in the day just because they're they're the same as us. They're just like a, a, a metal band who wants to be cool, just like fucking looks the part. It's it's about a lifestyle. It's not just you know the sound. It's all it's all about what you represent and who you are and why you wear the clothes you wear. And, uh, they're they're awesome. Them and asking Alexandra just because I'm really good friends with Danny and I think that would be crazy. So those are bands I like to tour with. And of course, I always love to tour with Metallica because that's just a fucking dream. That's just a dream. I don't know. Maybe one day. <laughs> night actually in Amsterdam we played Amsterdam and all the fans came on stage and that's happened a lot of times where fans run on stage but there was a lot of them I thought I felt like the whole audience came on the stage to where it was like all surrounding me and there was thousands of people on the stage and all of a sudden I see Craig surfing right in front of me crowd surfing on the stage not crowd surfing in the crowd on the stage, that's how big the crowd was. It was crazy. I, that's, I'll never forget that. That's one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. Je t'aime. Paris, France, je t'aime. Bonjour. Merci beaucoup. That's good, yeah. yeah. Je t'aime, Paris, France. Yes, did I say France? Is that how you say it? France. 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 Le Tour Eiffel. Je t'aime la France. Je t'aime la France. Oh, that was good. <laughs>